Look, over there, where the wall is broken. Do you see what lies beyond? That's what the land became after the light flooded in. An empty white nothingness. Life cannot exist in such conditions. The primordial light would wreak havoc on the body's etheric balance. That nectar in you bought. It's Halric's favorite fruit. Most of the patients, Halric included, survived the attacks of powerful eaters. But their fate was sealed all the same. The monster's corruption has entered their bodies, and their very essence is being subsumed by light. The twisted state of the world itself just makes matters worse. Under normal circumstances, a person's ether naturally tends to equilibrium. But for these poor souls, the opposite is true. Sooner or later, every single one of them will turn. Teslin and the patients, they all know this. They know what has to be done before the change goes too far, before the eater within takes over. The preferred method is mixing poison into their favorite food. In my time here, I've borne witness to a lot of last meals. I feel just as helpless as before. No matter how hard I fight, it's never enough. But it's a war I mean to wage, nonetheless. Speaking of wars, do you remember how I made you promise not to leave me and then promptly collapsed? Well, let's just say I had a few choice words for the Exarch concerning the timing of his summons. But even if the fault lay with someone else, I couldn't shake the feeling that I'd abandon you on the battlefield. So I swore that I'd make up for my absence there by making a difference here. And that's what keeps me moving forward, even when things seem hopeless. On which note, it's time we headed back. The longer we keep Tesseline waiting, the harder this will be for her. <laughs> 